Hello, this is Anthony with AnthonyScooterWork.com. This is a 1960 Vespa frame with a 1961 motor I rebuilt. This project was also pretty much a nightmare because the guy dropped off two motors to be rebuilt. The two motors he dropped off, one of the motor was a VNB and the other motor was a Sprint motor. The VNB motor was in better condition than the Sprint motor, so that's the motor I chose to rebuild. This project was not only a, a engine rebuild, but I ended up uh, doing uh, several repairs to the body and frame. Okay, there's a very good reason for me putting a brick on there. A lot of people don't know, on these Vespas, when they're leaning towards the, the wheel hub, R can leak into the wheel hub because the R sits level in these motors. And, some, and if, you put a kick, if you put a side sign on, it's better to have it, lean, have it leaning towards the motor and not towards the wheel. The R builds up, causing you to have really squishy brakes at times. Anyway, that's why I have it sitting on a brick so it will sit level. I was going to talk about this side stand just a little more so you can understand. This would be the normal setup of a Vespa motor. You take the wheel off, and if it's sitting there and you're leaning over like this, the all sits level in here right up to this all seal. If it's leaning over like this, you can get a leak inside your rear brake drum. And this is where your brake shoes are, and it always ends up all in here. And this is a this brake drum is really oily from that happening to the previous guy that owned this particular scooter. This video is sponsored by Anthony Scooter Work and also sponsored by ASD Scooter Designs.